Okay, today we'll be discussing the um, sizing of off grid inverters, the solar panels, and battery backup. So, we are starting with um, for you to know the things, the major, the critical loads you want to power in your house. So, I've listed out the lights, the TV, fridge, fan, laptops, and additional load in case of any other additional things. So this is just for illustration purpose. For your own house, you have to, if you cannot do this, you have to meet a certified electrician or an inverter and solar installer engineer to do this for you. Okay, we are going with the lights. Let's say the lights will have um, 20 watts for each of them. And they are 10 in number. And then the total watts for the 10 of them is going to be giving us 200 watts and backup time let's say we want to back them up for 5 hours and that 5 hours total wattage is going to be 200 times 5 giving us 1000 watt hour we are multiplying the watts with hour that's why it's rated in watt hour so the television have 200 watts and how many of them two total watts 400 hope you are following just this times this will give us the total watts this times this gives us this this times this gives us this so let's say we want to power them for eight hours so what hour give us this times this giving us um, 200 watt hour you have to use your calculator to make sure that you are correct so our fridge we have um 150 watts numbers of fridge one then the total watts will give us 150 watts how many hours we want to power it one day fridge to be on 24 7 that's 18 hours that's the average hour fridge used to be on because it has a thermostat or a timer inside that once it's reach um the inside reach a certain degree the cap um, the compressor will off so once everything inside is cooled or blocked the compressor will off for some time so leaving your TV, leaving your fridge on for 24 hours your fridge is going to be on for an average of that's your compressor is going to be on for an average of 18 hours so 150 times 18 give us 2700 watts hour then our fan we are taking it to be 60 watts whether it's standing fan or ceiling fan for some ceiling fans giant used to be 70 watts or so so if you are not sure of the wattage of your of your fan please you have to confirm it let's say it's two <coughs> so giving us 120 watts we are left with um, how many hours let's say we want to power the fan for 10 hours so giving us 1200 watts hour then your laptop 70 how many one 70 watts say we want the laptop to be on for four hours so giving us 280 watt hour then additional loads for miscellaneous in case of any other thing so your laptop chargers your router and the re uh, your phone chargers your router and the rest so let's say 200 watts one 200 what we leave it for four hours too giving us 800 watts what hour so with this now i think you are ready let's total this and total this we have um, the, all of this <laughs> should be about um, 1140 watts and all of this should be about um, nine thousand one hundred and watts hour so 
um, this is the total the total instantaneous uh, power you will need so this is what you need to size your uh, your inverter so with this now uh, inverter losses or let's say it's not always good for you to load your inverter up to say certain percent so let's use um, that your inverter is loaded 50 percent so we are taking inverter losses sorry inverter losses to the 0 0.5 so this divided by 0 0.5 think now is my calculator 1040 divided by 0 0.5 leaving me with them um, 2000 2280 watts so you go for the nearest wattage that's for the nearest kva okay let's put this the nearest kva should be 2.5 kva because this is 2.2 that's if you had if you divide it by 100 it will give if you divide it by 1000 so let's say for your system for your inverter what you need is um, 2.5 5 kva yeah so i think this is done so in case if you have any question concerning this or any concern maybe you should check some other videos on youtube too or maybe you will link yeah you will leave a comment below so that i will be able to see it and attend to it okay going to your solar that's your solar calculations this is the total we have a total of this <clears throat> so we are also adding a, a system loss of 20 percent for the solar panels a loss of solar panels losses of 20 percent 20 divided by 100 should be 0 0.2 so 1000 sorry i was lost for some minutes okay um 0 0.2 percent uh 0 0.2 percent should be about 0 0.8 that's you are left with 80 percent efficiency so let's divide it by 0 0.8 okay one one four seven five not all so depending on your region you know the what uh, the average number of time the average number of hours you get the most sun so i'm in nigeria so we have we have an um, average number of five hours of sunlight so i'm going to be dividing this by five hours five hours of sunlight come on here John. dividing by five yeah Give me it solar panels equals two thousand two hundred and ninety five watts. So you are left with two thousand two hundred and ninety five watts. So this is the amount of power you need in a day to power your loads. So depending I will have a three hundred watts of solar in the market, we have two fifty we have 380 we have 440 we have 550 we have a serious number of them so it depends on the one you want to use so for the purpose of this calculation we are using a um, 3 380 watts so 
divided by 380 6 so okay, let's say 7 just to be accurate or to avoid anything 7 times 380 we are left with 2000 600 watts so which is not bad so you need a for your solar you need a 7 times 380 watts panel yeah so calculating the battery backup we have a um, battery backup here total energy demand which is this one because we have already added the um 20 percent loss so we are left with uh, 11,475 watt hour 11,475 watt hour okay your battery loss is at 15 percent which is 0 0.75 um your battery depth of discharge okay for lithium cells we have some like the byd that can go up to 100 percent without affecting the battery cells but for the purpose of this i'm using a um, um, lead acid batteries these two blast the two blast batteries which can only be discharged 50 percent some can go 60 but it's not advisable so i'm going with 0 0.5 your battery nominal voltage for the 2.5 kV of our inverter 2.5 kV of our inverter 24 volts then days of autonomy days of autonomy for during the rainy season or the crowded days when there is no sun how many days do you want your battery so this one can be decided by you for me i'm using one because there is the sun every day <laughs> okay let's go with them um, so the formula is a um, total energy total energy demand over battery losses I just see battery loss times depth of discharge times nominal voltage all multiplied by days of autonomy and it's in amp hour so with this 1,475 over 0 0.75 times 0 0.5 times 24 11475 so give you uh, 475 over 0 0.75 times 0 0.5 times 24 giving us 9 so this okay. I will 1475 divided by 9 I left it 1275 amp hour. Okay, so for your 24 volts, as you know, series, series, 
and power connections of 24 volt battery so let's say we are using 24 volt positive negative positive negative this will go to this this will go to this negative negative positive positive so all of this will join giving us the negative this will join giving us positive so if it's rotated in 200 amp hour 200 amp hour 200 amp hour 200 amp hour in series connection voltage increases that's voltage at and in parallel connection amperage at amp at series parallel so we have we need a total number of 1275 amp hour so this will be giving us since the voltage has increased from 12 12 to 24 amperage or amperage remains the same so leaving us with them um, 200 here 200 here so we need like 200 another 200 another 200 as another four another two another two another two another two another two okay so because each of them is 200 amps so let's say 1275 divided by 200. We're having 6.3, but to be on the safer side, we're making it 7. So 200 times 7 times the do divide is giving us 1000. 100 amp hour so you need seven of these pairs like you need two 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 into seven places that's like 14 of these batteries so which will give you battery is equal to 200 amp hour battery times 14 that's into 14 places so you will be needing a, a 2.5 kva 6 7 830 380 watts panel and 14 batteries of 200 amp hour that's for off grid inverter there is nothing like grid there's nothing like nepa so your backup or your load powering is purely dependent on the inverter and the solar with the battery as well so if you want to add the grid uh, maybe in the future maybe the next video i will still do a video on that in case if you want to add the grid maybe you are sure in your area you used to have um, like five hours of grid daily or maybe more so you can also add that some too used to do this maybe to reduce the amount of bill they pay for the grid Thank you and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.